What's up, Urban Ghost Crew? Welcome back to another one of our crazy adventures. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a really good start to your new year. Um, guys, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have been struggling with this new year coming in. I was sick with the flu, wasn't able to get out and really film. So anyway, guys, I hope you understand. We love each and every one of you. We appreciate all your support. And guys, all the comments, keep them coming. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk to you about this video that we're dropping this week. I wanted you guys to kind of see what we experienced while we went on location to film. Um, normally, I wouldn't drop a video like this, but I felt that this was important to drop. I wanted to get this out as soon as possible um, for you guys to see. I, I kind of want your input. I kind of wanted to know what you guys think may have happened while we were in there filming. Um, a little backstory to the video is that we did some research. We found a location that's considered one of the most haunted places in the area. It's in rural West Tennessee. Um, I will not give the name of the location because I want to protect the integrity of it. As you see in the video, the place is clean, no graffiti. It's been kept up. It's been well taken care of. And I'm not going to put that name or location of it out there for somebody to go in and mess up uh, not that I know any of you wouldn't do it but anyway guys there's no telling who will watch this video so I just want to protect that but I will tell you guys this the it was a church that was built in 1847 and from the 60s up until the mid to late 1900s late 1990s it was actually used as by different people coming in there performing dark satanic rituals and this was even this was proven fact by the local law enforcement agencies these guys confirmed to me that they received numerous calls out there over about almost 40 years of people people performing rituals inside the church defacing the church defacing the headstones in the cemetery that's there on the property also uh, there's uh, several stories about the place and people's experiences that they've had about it. Um, the place is, is insane. So anyway, we went inside to go film. We went to go shoot some B-roll to kind of make the video a little bit more interesting to you guys. And while we were setting up, we had a couple of experiences happen that uh, one, we didn't catch on camera. And maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later. but. The, the one shot that we did catch, and we did catch something, it was absolutely insane. It was unnerving. It actually scared me. It scared me to the point that I was actually uncomfortable and decided to get out of there. To call it a day, cut filming short, go ahead and leave. And uh, I normally wouldn't have just put this up by itself. I would have incorporated it into the full video. But being that this place kind of put me on edge and kind of stirred me a little bit, I haven't actually been back out there to investigate it. I might go, I might not. Uh, I'm gonna do some thinking about it. Uh, I 
I'm going to make sure that I'm protected before I go. And if I do go back out there, I'm definitely going to take you guys with me. But anyway, let's stop talking. Let's get into the video. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you as soon as you watch it. What's up guys so okay so I'm out here at the Trinity Church I was actually just scoping it out doing some b-row shots but and just kind of looking to see if we were going to be able to have access to this place it's considered one of the most haunted places in this area that was rumored through urban legends all kinds of urban stories that were able to find on the internet that this place is really haunted that people used to come here and do satanic rituals all kinds of stuff like that guys uh, Anyway, the cemetery, the church is from the 1800s, 1847, I believe it was built. But anyway, guys, so I'm just kind of checking it out. I just looked. It's open where we can actually get into it, but there is posted signs, so we're going to uh, check into it, make sure that we do have permission to be out here. But anyway, I just want to give you a quick glimpse of it and let you know what this place looks like. It's creepy from the outside. I just heard what sounded like a voice from inside. As you can see, there's this little small access door back here in the back but anyway guys so this is it i don't have a light with me but as you can see all the windows are pretty much covered up they have like a, a tarp over each window um guys this church stood here for since 1847 okay guys so let's go ahead and close this we're gonna close that back and it had ran up until they had built a built a new church for the congregation down the road but every Easter they come here and they hold church services but uh, a lot of stones people came out here and broke a lot of the headstones and so they started getting really sick of uh, the kids coming out here vandalizing the place so they posted it up they uh, blocked it off so you can't just drive up in here but <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of headstones out here at the church but this is out way out in the country and a lot of times people bury people have burial vault or let me back up excuse me I'm cold had burial plots on their property like if they had a big farm or whatever, they would have a family plot there on their farm. So then that's why we see signs like this that's, you know, got six, seven, eight people actually buried there on their own property. But they do still have a uh, commemoration plaque here. But you can see... But anyway guys, so just a just a quick run through of this place. I just kind of wanted to show it to you. As you can see, there's the there's the church right there. And I mean this place is wild. I'm definitely wanting to come out here at nighttime and investigate it because they say it's extremely haunted. Um, <clears throat> the satanic rituals that were going on. I actually confirmed it with a local who says yes, they used to do satanic rituals here all the time until they crack down on people coming out here. So, with that being said, I'm gonna do a little bit of more research on it. See if I can try to get in here maybe this weekend and bring you guys a really, really cool overnight investigation here. The Trinity Church is open.
Holy f What the f All right, this is a, holy shit. This is the second time that that Bible that was laying there This is the second time. That Bible was laying there a while ago. And it didn't do, it wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just, it was laying here. We found this Bible when we came in here, just sitting there. But we set our equipment up over here also. See, I got some gear, like my light. Uh, as you see, my camera just shut off. Okay. Um, but anyway. That, my gear, the lights, all that just fell off the, off the church pew over there. And that Bible, I swear to God, I'm going to have to look at the footage. I think that Bible fell in the floor, but I think it moved. All right, guys, I was just in here and we were setting up to shoot B-roll shots. Oh, shit. The guys, the candles you see were us. I mean, of course, I set them up because I wanted to do some B-roll cinematic shots. But, of course, the Bible was sitting there. It's been here. It was here last week, week when I came out here. If you just move that Bible, can you make a noise for me? Let me know that you're here. Guys, I really didn't bring any ghost set equipment. I just brought cameras, some lights. You can see my, I got a light sitting right there. Make a noise for me. Let me know that you're here. You just moved that Bible. If you moved that Bible, can you make a noise for me? Let me know that you're here. I think I caught it. I may have caught it on that camera up there also. You see there's a camera sitting right there flashing. It's recording. Guys, I'm literally shaking. I don't know if you can see my hands. I am literally shaking. That's crazy, and it that sketched me out. Let's see. All right, guys. I'm gonna get these candles put out because this whole thing, this whole building's wood. Like I said, it's built in 1848. One year after it was founded, it, the original church burned. And they rebuilt it, and this one's the one that's been standing since 1848. So I'm gonna put these candles out real quick. I'm gonna move outside. If there's anybody here, you can make a noise. Let me know that you're here. I'm gonna let them know. I'm gonna move outside. That is absolutely crazy. Make a noise, let me know that you're here. Knock on something. Sound like it came from right up there. All right, guys. Be sure to be sure to let me know. I'm. I was actually going to come out here and do a full investigation, but I may actually post this up since uh, since we did catch something. Maybe I don't know. I'm going to review the footage on it on both cameras. Um, you know, if you're just wondering, there's there's the equipment sitting over there. Lights, extra cameras. I brought about five cameras out with me. Uh, it's super cold. Move something. Move that Bible again if you can.
That's me. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and move outside and do some cinematic shots for the next video uh, for the investigation, guys. I I don't know. This is crazy. Be sure, be sure to let us know in the comments if you saw that. I mean, that's crazy. I've never physically ever seen anything move like that. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the merch. I've got it listed in the description down below. Until next time, guys, take care. We love you. Thanks for you continue to support, and we'll see you on the next one. So what do you think, guys? I don't know. I'm going to leave it for you to decide in the comments down below. Tell me what you think is going on there. Tell me what you feel, what kind of vibe you get off of it. I'm going to tell you, I'm personally disturbed by it. I have never been so scared in my life, to be honest with you, or disturbed. I, I think the closest I probably ever came, other than last weekend out there, was over in Arkansas in the National Forest in 3 a.m. That, that was insane. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm going to put the video probably right up here for you guys to go check out. Be sure to go check it out. That was pretty creepy. Uh, that's why there's the missing 411. <laughs> People being in the National Forest alone at 3 a.m. But anyway, guys, so I hope you liked the video. I told you it was insane. Um, guys, if you want me to go back out there, if you want me to investigate it overnight, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also, just a little update on the channel. As you know, the last two videos now, Chris hadn't been in. Um, Chris has had some medical issues with family so he's kind of stepped away for a little while so be sure to keep him in your thoughts and prayers and uh, maybe we get him back on as soon as possible also guys we're going to be taking some trips out of town that's coming up we're going to be doing some haunted airbnb some haunted hotels some haunted places uh, i've already got a place in mind i've already looked into it and that's going to be iconic so stay tuned for that also guys thanks again for the love and support if you're new to this channel, you like this kind of creepy content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know that every time we post a video, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Love y'all. All right, guys, so I'm fixing to turn my flashlight on. I keep hearing something coming from right there. That's the side. I'm gonna shine my light over there. That's the side where, the side where Elvis, there yet. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna uh, 